What's up my ponyos? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here as the title suggests we're going to be going over an interesting case protection solution by Casemate. Uh, this is their blocks line, um, which you'll understand in a moment here. But um, this is honestly the most gaudy of the phone cases that I've ever reviewed. Last year I reviewed a variant of this that is more of your beauty vlogger light, which I, I will have a, up in the cards up above. But uh, this is uh, this case is known to be used by lots of different influencers on Instagram, even some celebrities. Uh, with that said, I am trying to be bias free because of how ridiculous this case is. So before we get started here, this is not a sponsored video. They did not reach out to me. I purchased this with my own money, and I'm going to be reviewing it here to provide you, you know, a genuine review. This case isn't for everyone. You can see the, the very gaudy design, a very colorful design here of the magenta marble. You know, it's going to be catered towards more of the, your feminine folks. Now, they have a bunch of different colors there. You can check in the links in the description. I am more for this traditional leather. This is a rugged patina leather from Nomad, which you can check down below in the links in the description. But let's go ahead and take it out of its case and start the unboxing. Now, this case here is going to set you back $39.99. That is a lot. For the market out there, there are plenty of different cases, hard, soft, leather, that almost meet that price point. So it's going to have to have something here that's going to be a wow factor for me at least, um, for me to be confident in keeping this case. As you can see, that magenta marble already just catches your eye with the inlay of like the foil gold inside of it. I think that's really, really stunning to be honest. With that said, it does have this protective screen that you can peel off, and that's it. I've never had a square case, honestly. This is really, really sleek. The design is super, super interesting. As you can see, the, the edges are a little more sharp, but very, very boxy. And um, the backside here is of a harder material than the edges. The edges are more of like a silicone, and this is like a polycarbon kind of a feel. You do have the raised area for this, the camera array. The marble design does not stretch all the way around, which I'm a little disappointed at. Getting closer here, it's very, very silicone-y, which means that it's going to be a sponge for, you know, fingerprints. You can see that uh, the phone's going to butt up right against the case here, and there really doesn't seem to be extra protection besides the corners for drops. I don't understand where they're getting that. Speaking of the corner, so you can see that it's extra thick here because I guess they think that the corner is the most susceptible edge. I, I would agree. I'd happen to agree. On the side here, they've got a punch out for your power button. They've got a, a little tassel area where you can put a wrist strap if you'd like, which I think is a nice touch. On the back side here, they got the punch outs for the speaker grill and your charging cable. On the other side, they've got a punch out for the do not disturb as well as your volume rockers right there. Volume rockers are see-through, the buttons there, which is kind of interesting. Nothing else there. Without putting this in the case itself, this is, uh, this is a little disappointing. 40 bucks for something like this. I noticed that the case isn't warped, which is nice. I mean, that's to be expected, but it seems a little flimsy. That's just my thoughts. Putting the case in here now, it fits real snug and uh, it, it's very boxy. I'm, I'm not used to that yet, but you know, I, I think they're right. It does provide you, you know, with this extra material here, a nice cushion for when it, it you know, the impact, the point of impact. Um, it does look like it lips up a little bit, which means that when it lays flat, it's gonna be rubbing against the silicone. And then on the back side here, you can see the camera array is definitely being protected with that lip as well. You can see that the lens doesn't protrude further. The thickness I'd say gives you about an eighth of an inch thicker on both sides and on the top and bottom. And then on the back side, you get probably a 16th of an inch from here to here. It doesn't seem to be too much more heavy, but look at that. I mean, it's so weird. It's got this like really sharp edge here, but up here is not sharp, but that gaudy design is so intriguing. I just don't know if I, I feel comfortable spending $40 on this. It doesn't seem to be that high quality.
for me to you know feel confident in, in throwing down that much money. Nonetheless, it, it does it, it does have a flare. It's it does pop out. Oh, hold on. Speaking of popping out, I just felt this corner come out. It looks like you've got this you know design here that's like glued to the back of just a, a plain silicone case. I felt it give right here. That was odd. That alarms me. That means that this uh, this probably isn't worth it. I mean, you can see it there. Look, it's like a veneer that they've that they've just adhered to the back of a, a plain old silicone case. That that to me is like very very alarming. You can see right there that it, it actually is veneered. It's not it's not the actual case that has this design. You could easily just peel this back which I'm not going to because I'm gonna immediately return this finally here guys I wanted to demonstrate whether this was uh, MagSafe friendly or not it kind of is I put the Apple MagSafe battery pack it does uh, stick but it doesn't stick right it's too thick you've got that material that's you know supposed to protect the case that's too thick it doesn't stretch the magnets and so it's got a weak connection but you're still getting that MagSafe animation i have a third party magsafe power bank by iwag this is not a sponsored video but they did provide this to me complimentary um, this does uh, adhere to the back not as strong um, as you typically would but you can kind of see that it, it does fit there um, and it does make connection you press the button here you can see the led it does show you that it does charge so you are able to get that magsafe charging which is nice you do have a stand here with this ring to hold it or if you want to put it on you know like landscape mode and have it on your desk it is a desk buddy in that regard so you know while i wouldn't use this in my backpack because it would fall out you know this is something that you could have you can have it face down on the desk and you place it on top of it and it can charge that way um, but I am a little disappointed here that this doesn't have MagSafe compatibility. All right, well, final conclusion, folks. Um, I'm going to recommend against this. Uh, I know there's a lot of folks out there here to have something on the weekend to be able to carry around and just match, you know, your look, to match your lifestyle. But honestly, to me, this is, in all practicality, not worth it. This isn't going to really protect your phone in any sense of the imagination. You've got this little veneer... Um, you know design that's latched right on top of a silicone case and it's it's square it's a box so if that's something that you're interested in maybe that that's you know meant for you but you know when it comes to cases i feel like you need to have a little bit more oomph if you're going to be spending forty dollars on a case i mean this is materials that i won't spend more than ten dollars on you're just paying for the case mate brand uh it's been used by celebrities in the past and the very very gaudy design with that said guys um i would take a hard pass on this one i have a bunch of other videos up above in the links in the description for um products that i would recommend this isn't something but i will actually put the link there in the description for you if you did want to check it out with that said folks my name is andy with andy vlogs this is another video review subscribe if you liked it like if you liked it We'll catch you on the next one.